It's Fat Fish Records. Oh, my record company. Probably calling and telling me my song's off the charts. Listen, do me a favor. Pretend like you're my secretary and take a message for me, okay? I'm secretary. What's the message? <laughs> Hold on. I'll tell him. Your song's number one. What? That's impossible. Last week I was 99. Here, let me talk to him. Sorry, I'm the secretary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Take a lunch. I'm just doing my job. Excuse me, you're going away. Aww. Shorty, listen, it'll only be for two weeks, and I promise I'll write every single day. Okay? I'll call. All right, I'll bring presents. Have a nice day. Why don't you do for a while? <laughs> Hey, Shorty. Wow, we're getting closer. I'm coming, Uncle Jesse. Stay right there. Hey, Comet, take five. Uncle Jesse, you're home. Whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. I missed you. I missed you. You were gone a really long time. I know. I was going to be gone a really, really long time. They wanted me to stay a year. I won't like that. Me either. So Becky and I got together and we asked ourselves a question. Where is the best place in the whole entire world to raise Nikki and Alex? Right here. You are right. And who is the all-time greatest munchkin cousin they could ever have? That'd be me. You are correct, sir. And who is the greatest ice cream eating partner of all time? That's me again. You're on a roll. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Come on. Let's go hit that rocky road, huh? Yeah. I'm glad you're home, Uncle Jeff. When will we be there? When, when we, we get, get there. there. I was just asking, don't have a cow. Spilling my guts to you since before you were able to talk back, huh? Spill those guts. <laughs> well, you heard about this twins thing, right? Yes, I did. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, but, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just apprehensive. Appre- what? Mommy didn't show up with Coco. Because her dog's a chicken. <laughs> hey, I made a joke. <laughs> Cheryl, you've been bugging your Uncle Jesse to buy for breakfast. Bye, Barbers! You got it, dude. I'm glad I woke you up. <laughs> Me too. If you hadn't come in and jump on my stomach, I'd have missed a beautiful sunrise this morning. I'll get the milk. Here he is, party teddy. Michelle, what about breakfast? Two eggs, over 80. Thank you. You're very handsome. Thank you very much. Now be nice and don't talk about yourself. Michelle, I do not talk about myself. Okay, maybe I do just a little bit, but that's because when I was five, I didn't really have any friends. Daddy. Sugar freak. All right. Now, Michelle, while I make this triple dip, double fudge, whipped cream sundae with a cherry on top, just out of curiosity, is there some kind of, uh, I don't know, secret about this uh, party Becky's throwing? I can't tell you. You missed a spot. Thank you. <laughs> well, Michelle, you know, I. I sure would love to share this ice cream sundae with you. I'd sure love that, too. Hmm. Well, then, let's talk about that secret, shall we? What do I do? What do I do? Well, you can start by holding the spoon while I put on these chocolate sprinkles. Chocolate sprinkles? Mm-hmm. And your favorite and mine. <laughs> Did 
the cherry. The party in Bayshore, now drop that cherry! <laughs> Aha! The baby shower, it's worse than I thought. Thanks, Michelle. You're welcome, my boy. You're welcome, my there's nothing else I want to know. I hate to spoil you. I'm too for two. Tea for two. I'm too for two. Tea for two. You're not watching. <laughs> Michelle, I watched all the way to school. I watched during school. I watched all the way home from school. I watched and I watched and I watched. Good, now watch this. Tea for two. Tea for two. Tea. Somebody took my tap shoes. <laughs> Does that finger in my face mean you think it's me? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Guitar playing, young lady. Yeah, get me on the river and myself. All right, any requests? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, the lovely young lady in the pink ensemble. Play the do a ditty song. Okay, we, we can do that song, but we do need a very short backup singer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Same lady in the same pink ensemble. I'm short. Well, would you do us the honor and sing with us, please? It would be my pleasure. Come on down, babe. Go. All right. I told you I'm short. A lot of mistake, sorry. All right, there you go. All right, Michelle, count us off. One, two, buckle my shoe. <laughs> Uncle Tattletail? Yes, I want to go home. Oh, man. From my party yet? Nope. You still have two hours and 29 minutes to go. How long is that? Two Sesame Streets and a Mr. Rogers. <laughs> oh, I'll never make it. Hello? Hi, Jeremy. You're late. Is that Jeremy? Hey, Mr. Dimples, teacher wait for no man. Michelle. He sounded cute. Next time, give the guy a break. Michelle, I didn't mean to break up your game. I'm a crummy boy. That's because you're a girl. Why are you trying to be a boy? Because Teddy doesn't want to play with girls anymore. Oh, so that's what's going on here. Look, sweetheart, I know you feel bad about this, but you gotta understand, Teddy is just going through a stage right now. 
What's a stage? Well, a stage is when you go through something and then eventually you grow out of it. You once went through a stage where you didn't like chocolate cake. No way. It only lasted 10 minutes, but uh, you get the idea. Teddy right now is going through his I don't want to play with girls stage. I don't like this stage. Oh, I know. But don't you worry. Before you know it, all the boys are going to want to play with you all the time. And that's when I go through my keep away from my daughter stage. I just want my best friend back. Sweetheart, if he's really your best friend, he'll come back around. Because real friends like you for who you are. Who am I? Who are you? You are Michelle Tanner. You are one terrific person. You're sweet. You're funny. You're friendly. You're kind. Keep going. <laughs> I could go on forever. You always do. <laughs> uh, what's the matter, Michelle? We are Jack. Jack's in the box. Jack, come out. Please. Let me see that. All right, Jack. Michelle and I are outside, and we got you surrounded. <laughs> you come out now, or we're coming in after you, sweetheart. <laughs> Jess, come on. It's already 320. 320. Joseph, I got to go down and coach DJ's soccer game. I'm sorry. We'll finish when I get back. Jess. I'm sorry, Joey. I, I realize it looks like I'm running out on you, but, Joseph, I would never do that to you. And I'll tell you why when I get back. Wake up, Jack. Hey, I'm sorry, babe, but your Uncle Jay is on vacation. I love you. Oh. And I love you, too. <laughs> Come here, let's see if we can get that old box of working, huh? All right, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Huh. <laughs> oh. See? I told you I'm there for you, babe. 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 Shorty! Yes? Did you just eat the creamy middle out of that cookie and put the two ends back together? Yes? You ate the middle out of every cookie in this cookie jar? Next time, only buy the middle. <laughs> Just like your Uncle Jesse, right? Okay, here we go. Sit over here, grab the sticks. Here, there. All right, now, what you do is start up on the bass drum. Do one and three in the bass drum, two and four in the snare, eights on the hi-hat, do a big flourish and end up with a cymbal. Are you talking to me? Yeah, forget all that. Just, just, just bang the heck out of them. Why did you do that? Because I never see you anymore. Is that because you're the spatula of the mom? <laughs> you could deserve Teddy. <laughs> Michelle, how could you say you never see me anymore? I see you every morning, and I told you a bedtime story tonight. Before dinner doesn't count, you don't tuck me in anymore. Sweetheart, if I'm not able to tuck you in for some reason, there's always someone else there to tuck you in. It's not the same. You do the best tugboat. Actually, she has a point there. I, I do one heck of a toot toot. <laughs> but that does not excuse you from leaving the house and sneaking into my car. Am I in big trouble? Well, actually, it's not all your fault. I should have talked to you about this whole dating thing before I started going out every night. 
I know how important it is to you that I tuck you in. It's important to me, too. I love our special times together. I'll tell you what. Why don't you and I make a special date tomorrow night at your bedtime for me to tuck you in? What do you say? Is it a date? It's a date. I love you, honey. I love you, Dad.